Doing shit in the mirror, you ain't supposed to be doing to that mirror. The mirror ain't supposed to be seeing you like that, so you can tell when it's time. <laughs> that shit is funny. I would like to get to know if I could be oh. the kind of girl that you could fall down for. Cause oh. when I look at you, I feel some thought. Tell me oh. that you're the kind of guy that oh. should make a move on. Oh. And if I don't let you know, oh. then I'm gonna be. I could be wrong, but I feel like something could be going on. There ain't no other for me, it's only you. I wanna be down, I wanna be down with you. So, baby girl went to the market. Baby girl got groceries. Look at baby girl's cabinet. Look at baby girl's cabinet. Ah, oh, baby girl got some shit. Ain't not like being able to put some fucking groceries in the house. I put some milkies. If y'all know about milkies, get y'all some milkies. <sighs> yes, baby girl got what? Monk fruit. Baby girl getting bougie. She got that monk fruit. I'm showing off my groceries because I ain't had groceries in a couple of days. <laughs> Avocado. Oh, baby girl. Baby girl got fresh spring water. Baby girl got some shit. Baby girl got some shit. So I'm about to make me a little fancy drink. I did eat a little something. I'm feeling drowsy already and I haven't been up. Well, I've been up early. I got up at 7. But I'm going to have me a little bit of this. Matcha love. I showed y'all the Chanel last Vincy. I got plans tonight, so we're gonna do a little get ready with me. This is the bra that I got from Lane. Ignore my tights. I literally, because my tights have been sliding down, I literally tack them onto my Spanx so they can stay the fuck up. Like literally, if I was to go to the bathroom, I'm going to have to be easy because my Spanx is a <laughs> This is only because I went to the market. I didn't feel like being in the market every five minutes. Every five minutes, pulling shit up. No, no ma'am, no ma'am. But let's make this hair matcha. So if y'all didn't know, matcha is like a caffeinated drink. It's similar to coffee, but it's basically Chinese matcha plus green tea. So it comes out green. It gives you that boost, but it doesn't give you the crash factor. So you can find yourself crashing and that's on coffee. But with this, it kind of just slowly fizzes out. So it's not necessarily good or bad for you um but this particular one is zero calories no sugar sodium is super low the sodium is only 15 milligrams i hope i'm saying that right it's high in vitamin c if that's beneficial but my camera my camera, my camera ain't gonna zoom in like that all that focus 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 it's not going to happen. So if you see a little blur on this channel here and there, and you got a problem with it, you don't want to know what I really want to say. But if you got a problem with it, maybe this channel isn't for you. So I don't want to do a lot of editing today. 
so I'm gonna keep this super cute, super short. Um, if I feel like I'm gonna get long winded, I'm cutting it out. <laughs> Mainly because I don't feel like all the chatter, chatter, all the excess nonsense. Tonight I am going out. <laughs> I'm going out tonight, and who mega I gonna go see? Well, let me tell you who I'm gonna go see. I am going to a comedy show. Y'all know I love comedy shows, cause I really love to live. It's very seldom that I get a good kiki, a good kiki. So I'm going to go see Bill Bellamy tonight. Bill Bellamy. First off, so I googled him and I was like. Bill is fine as fuck. How old is he? So I looked him up. This man is what, 56? Honey, honey. I don't know what it is, but the old heads have been calling my name. Because Bill Bellamy is fine, fine. Wait, f forget that for one second. Who seen Method Man's uh, photo shoot? His, his latest photo shoot. Okay, Method Man method me ever since he said he got you know a little thing for the big girls i hope i'm the big girl on your list baby but i know he's married but as soon as you decide that that's not what you want anymore i'm not encouraging it but if it just so happens call me and i will be there no matter how near or far okay method man is sexy but back to Bill Bellamy. He's fine as fuck too. So I'm like, damn, Bill. You know, I never pictured myself with a Bill. But damn, Bill. You know, Bill, Bill is an old head name. Now, nowadays, it's a Rafiq. Okay, a Quadir. <laughs> a Bill, I don't know. But let me tell you something. Bill, you can get it. So I'm going to go see his sexy ass tonight. He is in Philly. So we're going to do a get ready with me. I'm going to show y'all how this drink looks. I'm literally putting, I know y'all going to like, Ugh. oat milk, monk fruit. It's a sweetener with, um, it's not sugar. And, you know, it's no glycemic in it. Zero glycemic. Keto friendly. Um, I probably didn't need as many as I use, but we're going to see. I'll do like a sweet drink and try it. Monk food. I've been hearing a lot about it, so this is my first time. It was on sale at Ross. I'm the Ross queen. You got Walmart queens. You got Target queens. You got just regular Whole Foods, Trader Joe queens. I am the Ross queen. So I was in Ross. Found it. Bop. Bop. I mean, let's move on. So I got my oat milk. I got the monk fruit in there. I oh, that tastes so good. It tastes sweet. Believe it or not, I do my coffee the same way. When I make my coffee, I like more cream than I like coffee. It is what it is. <laughs> So, I bought this wig to wear tonight. And the wig that I bought was synthetic. I bought it synthetic for a reason. Because I don't feel like washing out my natural wigs, blow drying them, and styling them like they my natural fucking hair. Okay, I don't have that type of time. But, I wanted something with a little bit of wave. Now, I had did this before with a blonde wig, but I forgot the name of it. I need to start remembering to take the tags with me. But this wig, do not get it. Don't get it. It's it's no point. It's 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 gonna be a huge disappointment. <clears throat> I thugged her out. I done thug thug sis out. 
So I'm not gonna take her down until it's time for me to get dressed. A uh, mask. Yes, I could have made mask. Here's the thing, it's convenient. So this one is huge. Chanel inspired. This one, oh my God, like it's too big. Like I'm literally, I can hold it all the way back here. It does have these little tabs, but I feel like either way, it's still, this is a pretty big mask. And I got this one, I think it's so cute. This one is substantially smaller, like first of look. Yeah, this one is big. But this one is so pretty, I should've got one in every color. But I really couldn't afford to be going ham in the doggone hair store. I don't want an earring. I don't know where I put the other one at. But this is cute. This is me. Bling bling. Every time I come around your city. Okay? Too cute. So, tonight, first off, going out tonight, I know we got to wear a mask. But then when they start serving drinks and stuff like that, I really don't know how that is going to tie in. Um, I guess we just take our masks down. But <laughs> neither one of these masks match what I want to wear tonight. I just realized that. And <sighs> Let me see. I've been dogging this mask. It's cute. It's a little bit too much ventilation but it's super cute for going out and you you're glammed up as long as it match your jewelry i recommend getting a little blingy mask but it doesn't have a lining you can see clean through it like this one you know you get what i'm saying but this is super cute when, when stepping out um but when you cute and you paint your face up the last thing you want to do is have a mask like this with the white lining yeah so i don't think i'm wearing this but this is so perfect for makeup because when you put this one on it almost don't even touch your lips like you can still have your lipstick on and it won't even be you know like i know i know we got to be extra careful but i've been I, i'm sad to say i've been dogging this when i go out so but enough about masks so, a couple things I wanted to address is I am approaching, I'm approaching probably like a two-year anniversary of me being single. Is it two years? It's probably two and a half. But I feel like I'm approaching the, the second year. I have given it all that I got, goddammit. And sis is tired of being single. I, I've, I've said it. This is, the, this is the moment where I am putting it out there in the atmosphere. I can honestly say I've had my fun. But I am officially tired of being single. Um, could I go another round of six months? maybe but baby girl is letting it know this is like i'm putting up a sign that's saying now hi run you could put <laughs> you could put in an app now you could you could put in the app so um and i may review your application so that's the tea on tea but i'm going out solo dolo tonight and um i wanted to just explain to y'all uh how do i say this without saying it corny the things that i have learned being single um i was gonna do it while i do my makeup uh maybe that would be better or and maybe after i get dressed because i'm jazzy you're gonna want to look at me for a couple minutes you know at least a couple minutes and i'll tell you exactly the things that i have learned while being single and 
I'm, I'm going to make it short and cute. We're probably going to answer like five questions. Maybe I can find something. Y'all know how we do the Q&A. Maybe I can find something like that. But we'll see. But I'll tap in with y'all later. It's about 3 o'clock. Um, the show doesn't start until close to 10. I wish I didn't get a, a late ticket. I did that because <laughs> I don't know why I do shit like that. But I really felt like. This is when the comedian probably had a few drinks in him. He loosey goosey. He really gonna be real funny, like natural and authentic. I do that shit all the time. But the fact that I gotta go to work, I need to stop doing it. And I need to stop ordering bras online. I got makeup on me. I was cleaning. Oh no, that's because I was putting makeup on this damn unit child do not buy this i don't know what she called i i wasn't even gonna show you her but please don't buy her don't buy her she ain't no good she ain't no good first off i i cut the lace and she split she split she split like two <laughs> like two ends of the chicken wing it just went crap I'm like, baby girl, what well, I needed the lace. I don't even know how I'm going to finesse this shit. But I done put some makeup on the part, plucked it. I never pluck a wig. So if I got to pluck a wig, the shit ain't good. I had to pluck a wig, put makeup on the back and the front of the bitch. Then had to um, fill in the hairs with a little bit of mascara because some of the makeup kind of was all over the place. Braid her down in such a way towards the front so she could fall too much for nothing but i'll pick your back up later because i don't feel like talking that much are you responsible if i let you know you can do got my burgundy situation on don't even pay attention to the sides because like I said it's like it's not my favorite it's not my favorite piece of hair okay before yeah I don't know if it's just me or if I'm the only one that spruces up my background before I do something but yeah I literally just have this thing going on um like I said totally not in love with this unit um yes so but it does beat me doing a whole hair situation out of nowhere so i know i was going to talk about what it is um that i've learned being single and although um i said i was gonna do like a q a and pull some questions up online i do not have time to do that but what i will say is it's kind of um like a bittersweet thing like you're proud of yourself for making it through but honestly it's like you start to reminisce about your past the people that has been there the people that has not been there and you start to think that you know okay although you've survived you know being alone you wish you had that same person like if that ever makes any sense like i know 
people are out there in full-blown relationships that's fine but like really think about it you do think about your ex from time to time from time to time you can be in complete bliss that man could have disrespected you or that woman could have really upset you or whatever but there are if you ever love someone you literally love them for life it does it doesn't just go away like that you may not be in love with them but you still love them so yeah i have learned that you know it's time to move on and and I definitely wasn't doing this in terms of me um, letting my ex back into my life. Like, I seen some of his posts like, oh, all my ex, I can go back to my ex. Bro, you cannot come back here and you know that. And there was times where he called and he asked and I said no. Now, he, he has came back around in the aspects of, you know, we just having some type of relations and that type of aspect. But it was clear that this still does not work. This still does not feel right. But you can't just come back and say, oh, I, I want to be with you. And I'm just going to be that, bu 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 what they call it. I'm just going to be stupid and just let you come back. No, not going to happen. But um, to continue on to say that, I have actively put towards going out, doing things to myself, treating myself to certain things, opening my world to different things. So really, I have been dating myself and literally falling in love with myself. I have to carry this person for my entire life. So with that being said, I want to make sure it's not no lipstick on my teeth. But with that being said, I, I really have little space for nonsense. So when, you know, I have these little story times, which y'all y'all would notice that you don't hear about the same person twice. I'm not going to hear about the same person twice because at the end of the day, I, I have a tolerance. I know my worth now. I knew my worth then. And all my exes or anybody that ever encountered with me, they would say, oh, she's a tough cookie. Like she does not play in terms of her feelings. Even though I may, you know, be lenient with certain little shit that they would do. But at the end of the day, it was a lot of times where I, 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 I'm pretty sure they, I can put fire up under your ass. Do not play with me. You know what I mean? Um, but just learning to be a woman, learning to be a woman of patience, learning to love, you know, the things that I can offer myself, you know, and everything else is just secondary. Um, <clears throat> there's times where I've broken down. There's times where I found myself, you know, um, really lonely, you know what I mean? But, you know, just because you're grown, it doesn't give you the opportunity to do exactly what you want, because what I want is for somebody to just satisfy my right now. If that's the situation, I could find myself being with someone different every day. And, you know, not in this breakup period or not not in this um these past couple of years but i'll give it 10 years or more where where i was single single um for the first time in my life you know <clears throat> i would say in my 20s i found myself entertaining men and it was like very short i just enjoyed the light from the tv not not to hear the music but <laughs> <laughs> but um it was very short times in between guys now i find myself i have long periods of times where i don't want anyone touching me and it's weird and it's kind of good and it's kind of bad because with my father not being in my life with no real men in my life i have a couple of male friends we talk sporadically and i have to force myself to reach out to them sometimes just to get that male voice in your ear because sometimes that's all you really need um it doesn't have to be necessarily just someone over top of you like it literally has to be you know someone just to say hey how are you doing you know just just that that bass in their voice so sometimes i want to be like okay um although these people may not reach out to me at first hand. I need to develop their relationship with like my uncle or my um, my best friend, one of my best friends. His name is Jerome. And I talk to him like, you know, when we do get on the phone, we talk for hours. He's just my friend, like literally just my friend. But it was a time period where I was like, I'm not calling none of them. Like, you know what I mean? Because it was like, 
we're not we don't live together we don't live in the same city some of us and it's like why would i do that you know go out of my way but sometimes you have to let a person know that that you need them in that aspect you know because it's like sometimes you just need a male perspective on life period even if some of the shit that they say don't even make sense trust me it's like medicine so the moment when you feel lonely or you feel like you're not loved by men or a man period Call your uncle, call your call your father, call your brother, whatever the case is. I don't have a biological brother, but I have a stepbrother. When I talk to him, I feel better too. Just to know that he's okay, I feel better. Like, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I could be rambling, but like I said, um, being single, there is ups and downs because sometimes you get lonely and sometimes you need something. But I have learned who Micaiah is and it, it may be may have been foggy spaces where it was like I felt like oh you know I really don't know what I'm doing you know here and there but I really know who I am like I know when you know I know when my body needs maintenance or I know when my body needs a massage I know when I need some type of you know you know some self-care as far as you know treating myself to a date treating myself to an outing um I know when I need to release anger you know I know how or what source I need to release that anger um on my vision board, one of my things is own your own orgasm. Think about it. So at the end of the day, um, I know how to get myself off without calling a man. You know what I mean? If I call a man, that means I really want you in my company. Know that. Like, you know what I mean? But... <laughs> I mean, it's not about just a vibrator. Like, I literally can tend to my entire being spiritually, mentally, physically. You know, I can turn on church. I can turn on, you know, that sexual need that I need. I can turn on that, that getting out and, and, and exploring the world. I can turn on that moment where I want to treat myself to something fancy, something nice. That's what it's all about, all about at the end of the day. So when you do, you know, heal, I think I've healed from my heartbreak yes there will always be some type of wound there that there's probably our scar there but it's healed you know what I mean you have to allow that that space you know and I really just to just to end this off I know y'all like oh girl you chatting too much no here's the thing <sighs> <clears throat> when I say the level of love that I've had for that person I love, that means dirty draws. And not dirty draws in terms of he was a dirty man. No, he wasn't a dirty man. I mean, all of his flaws. I loved every last one of his flaws. It's no way around it. I thought I could heal him, fix him, whatever. But meanwhile, I was just as torn and worn out and burnt out trying to tend to him. And it was like I wasn't getting anything back from him. It was nothing that he could give me. If that makes any sense, even if he tried or even if the effort was there, you know, it, it would exhaust him to, to give anything to me because he didn't have that much to give. I can give love burnt out. He couldn't give love burnt out. He couldn't give love halfway burned out, 75 percent burned out, 50 percent burned out. So if I know the magnitude of my love and my capability that I can give a person and I know that I'm on just 10 percent, not even. And and I don't I don't even need to be charged. I, I can literally black the fuck out. I have blacked the fuck out on situations with him. And I've still been that bitch. You know what I mean? That bitch to him. And he can honestly say he can go to anybody. And he can honestly say, oh, she was everything to me. He, he, would, he would be sitting there lying if he told you anything different. So at the end of the day, though I have a scar there from that particular situation it was time for me to be single there's women that go years from as soon as they grown 18 16 15 been in relationships for years and it don't have to be the same person they can be out of a relationship for a hot two weeks meet a guy ready to fall back in love that's not that's not the business over here I stopped that shit the moment I was in my 30s I said it's a wrap it's a wrap I need to figure out what's going on with me. I need to get my grown woman together. And if I couldn't get my grown woman together, then I, I, I went to God for it. Like, you know what I mean? But hell no. So.
so the the whole thing about it is yes i am ready for somebody to love on me and i'm ready to love a feed them a little bit you know see if they deserve it <laughs> but at the end of the day um i've i've done the work I've done the work and I'm going to keep praying that God makes me the right woman for the right man. I can't keep praying for the right man if I'm not the right woman. So I pray that God makes me right, keeps me right. Just don't bring me out and leave me out there. You know, at the end of the day, bring me out and, and keep me, maintenance me, keep me up. Because there's no way that I'm going to be able to survive without God, you know, in the picture. But there's no way I'm not going to be able to survive without the accountability of myself. And in order to have the accountability of myself, I definitely needed to go through what I went through as a single woman, you know. But it is what it is. But let me go, y'all. her to sit but it matched my top I got on my bummy's pea coat my cheetah pea coat I'm taking my favorite mask and I'm out I gotta go I be trying to do this YouTube stuff but the queen be busy I got to go but what I did want to let y'all know when I said what's on my vision board, um, make sure you own your own nut. So baby girl sits on the charger. I keep her on the charger. Yeah, so when I come back, we gonna get fucking cozy. But well, let's go see back.